So today I did another round of Mischief Airdrop Miner refund injections straight into wallets. We did four or five very large injections to the larger wallets who haven't ROI'd yet. It was roughly about $400 for each person. Uh, you haven't got your complete refund, but you know next time we have rounds coming around, you'll also get another injection of that. Want to just try and cover as much of the wallets as possible. Happens every Sunday, right? So you can check in the Google Sheet in the Crypto Mystery Chat and see if you got yours or not. If you have not ROI'd and you played the game well, then which means you're a community player, you'll get your your refund sooner than if you were just claiming all the time uh, or if you didn't interact with the contract very often because that means you gave up <laughs> essentially but um the aim is to get everyone on that sheet fully roi'd over time it will take about six months though because we are using the pools the yield generated from the pools to inject into the uh, individual's wallets right um, which means that the pool can then be used for other things such as the brand new projects which will be launching very soon because they're in our, our final testing phases with them, which is really exciting, right? Now, we do have the Shitcoin Club NFT collection, which gets you access into the DAO chat, which we use to give most of the alpha. Actually, now my public telegram, the Crystal Mr. Chat one, has been pretty dead because now all the chat happens in the DAO one because that's the safest place for, for people to talk. And we all know that we have skin in the game, so that's pretty great to know. Um, the... NFTs, right? So what's going to be happening very soon with our shitcoin club NFTs is that you'll be using them to get yourself whitelist access into the new ROI dApps. Now, these ROI dApps I'm bringing out for a couple of reasons. Now, the fees on these dApps are going to be feeding into the eternal engine pool, which is on Polygon, right? That pool is a growing amount of capital, which continues to compound for now, whereupon when I see it fit, uh, I'm going to put up the governance vote for you guys to decide when you want to start the passive income with the engine of funds, right, of that pool. The reason I'm bringing out the ROI dApps is because, of course, the fees for going into coming out of these ROI dApps are going to feed also into the engine. So essentially, by having the NFT, you get early access into the ROI dApps. The first one will be Polygon, followed very quickly after by Arbitrum with Ethereum token. Now, by holding the NFT in your wallet, you're going to get yourself a whitelist position. The way I've coded the miners, called the shitcoin miners, are that by getting in early, you get in while the spoof is still on. What is the spoof? The spoof is a mechanism that we've coded, brand new, never been done before in a miner, which means that while it's activated, everyone will get almost exactly the same amount of miners for your deposited crypto. The problem with normal mining contracts, as we all know, is that in the first couple of days of the mining contract, there's a very uneven distribution of miners or market share of the TVL, right, for you getting your yield from it. And people who get in really early or put in very large amounts usually man manage to monopolize the miner for months, if not years, by holding that position, unfairly getting an advantage over other players. Some people can get into miners very early in the first couple like seconds of it launching with very small amounts of crypto and manage to drain that for months, if not years. I've seen it happen before. That's what happened with the piggy bank. <clears throat> That's why it was exploited. We had one guy in the MAM who got in extremely early and managed to get an ROI of about 16,000%, right? It's ridiculous, 16,000% ROI. Uh, and that's the thing. So what we've done is with the spoof mechanism, yeah, so if you get in with your NFT, you get a whitelist entry into the NFT, into the miner, right? Then you will go in first day or the second day, third day. If the spoof has not been yet met, then you will still get the same miner rate as everyone else who's getting in that. Eventually, the spoof limit will be met from deposits coming into the miner and it will turn off. From that point, inflation starts, meaning that, yes, if you come in later or earlier, you're going to get a different miner rate for your dollars. And in my miner, <clears throat> the reason I've done this amazing contract is because I want to try and make it as fair as possible. If you deposit lots of capital in one transaction, you're going to get a worse rate for your dollar than if you deposited several small transactions, right, to make the gameplay even fairer for everyone who plays. But you can't just spam lots of small transactions trying to get yourself a better 
uh, minor bag than everyone else because there's a 30 minute timer on deposits into the shitcoin miner. Other things, great things, lots of other uh, uh, kind of throttles, we call them in the contract as well, to try and make this the fairest ever mining contract. Um, and I'm really proud of it. We're really just finishing up the final stages of getting ready for launch and having the NFTs. Like I said, you get yourself early access into this to get yourself the best mining rate. It will have external revenue pools to make sure that the TVR can be sustained. I have many, many powers to make sure that if anyone is being an arsehole in the contract, we can try to limit that behavior as much as possible. And we have the spoof to make sure that if you have the NFT, then you're going to get yourself the best mining rate. Finally, the fees going into it are going to be sent into a pool, which then pays you back in, in crypto. So it's, it's double-sided earning. The success of the miners will immediately affect the passive income you're going to earn from owning the NFT that got you the early access. Full ecosystem. Uh, just taking longer than I thought to code, but that's what happens with code. Code takes long. You've got to be perfect, right? It's got to be right. And we will audit, of course. We'll be audited. So looking forward to that. If you want to get yourself a poop, you can either come and grab one on OpenSea and try bid for one, or you can come to the Poops Lounge on the Shitcoin Club website, link in the description, where you can also purchase yourself Polygon Network 0.1 ETH per poop, buy one, and you can also use that poop to get referral rewards of 0.01 ETH for every poop that's been purchased. So you can also do that. Um, link in the description for this. Got a bunch of videos on it or get into the Crypto Mischief chat and ask about it. Learn how to get yourself poops. Cool. So I have been Crypto Mischief. That's the poops lounge there, by the way. Um, <laughs> peace. Be good to each other. And do not get wrecked. <laughs>